Well, I just spoke into Red One again. The aircraft are positioning, ready to start the show. Here come the Tucano and the Vampire overhead. There they are! He's in the Royal Air Force for training. Ahead of the Royal Air Force here. There they are! To start the show. Oh. Red, white, and blue smoke on. Those two aircraft breaking away as our aircraft pull to the vertical, changing formation as they go into short diamond. Wow. Leading the formation is Red One squadron leader Martin Pert. Martin is a former Typhoon and Harrier pilot. He's instructed on the Hawk and is in his second year as the team leader. Red One speaking to the other aircraft in a very metronomic cadence. The other pilots relying on the tone and the rhythm of his voice rather than the movement of his aircraft to keep the formation shape symmetrical and tight. On the right of Red One in Diamond is Red Two, a new pilot for 2019. It's Flight Lieutenant Damo Green. Damo has previously flown the Hawk as an aggressor pilot and he flew the Typhoon on the front line. Now in our display this year we're marking several anniversaries, the first of which is the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landings. Coming in from the right hand side, Red One has positioned the aircraft ready for the Apollo roll. Upside down at two and a half thousand feet, the distinctive Apollo landing cross shape as Red One rolls the formation through the sky. Wow! On the right of Red Two is Red Four, another new pilot for this year. That's Flight Lieutenant Gregor Rockston. Gregor has previously flown the Harrier and the Typhoon on the front line. He was then an instructor on the Hawk T2, the new version of the aircraft we're flying today. Red One positioning Apollo off to our left hand side. He's about to transition to the next of our anniversary formations. This formation representing the supersonic airliner, so successful in its time, but it's 50 years since the first flight of the Concorde. Whoa! Red One bringing Concorde in from our left hand side. You'll see the nose lights on towards us, Reds 8 and 9, looking like the engines below the aircraft. Once more as Red One pulls the formation to the vertical, they're going to change formation during the loop. In from the left hand side, it's time for Concorde. And pulling up goes Red One as the aircraft pull to the vertical, the distinctive Concorde shape, the engine wow. sloping. Now more smoke comes on as they transition out the top of the loop into signals. Whoa, boy! Wow. It's all looking at Red One's aircraft, taking their references from him, and almost ignoring the aircraft in between them as they maintain a tight formation changes during the aerobatic maneuvers. Wow. off on Signet, the aircraft prepare for one of our most technically difficult formations. All six aircraft flying in line abreast, red one at the front, red six and seven stacking in behind. As six and seven move into position, we see Phoenix. On the left of red one in Phoenix is red three, squadron leader Mike Bowden. Mike has previously flown the Harrier and the Tornado. He's instructed on the Hawk and is in his fifth year on the team. That's... Ladies and gentlemen, get those cameras ready. In from the left-hand side, 
the coloured smoke about to come on in Phoenix. Still flown by the Royal Air Force, it's all those force in the Battle of Britain, it is of course Lancaster. Wow. Red One brings the aircraft round, the nose lights will come on towards us. The smoke will come on, ready for the Lancaster roll. Lancaster roll. Now many of you may be thinking the Lancaster is not an aerobatic aircraft. But the famed British test pilot Alex Henshaw reputedly rolled the Lancaster more than once during flight testing in the UK. Wow. Hey, you were not kidding. On the left wing tip of Lancaster is Red 5 squad leader Steve Morris. Steve, the former Harrier and Tornado pilot, He's also instructed on the Hawk and rejoins the Red Arrows for the 2019 season. Well, let's see what these guys got well, next. as Lancaster banks around to our left, you're about to see one of my favorite maneuvers of the display. And it's definitely a favorite for the photographers out there. So get those cameras ready. We're setting a... ...after three decades of frontline service. The call will be for eight and nine. To put the smoke on, it'll then be for eight and nine to go as we look for the tornado. Our <laughs> board calls red nine as the, red the smoke comes on. Reds eight and nine rolling around the rest of the formation. Red one about to bank the aircraft to the left, changing smoke colour as wow. they go. This is Tornado. Oh, oh boy! Unbelievable! Smoke off go for Red 9 as Tornado moves off to our right hand side. Well, the end of Tornado means we are approaching the end of the first half of our display. What? So far today we've seen all nine aircraft in close formation shapes, air batting across the sky. Well, for the second half, we're about to step it up the gear, we're about to up the tempo. As Red 1 in formation, Red 6 and 7 will stay low, as the seven aircraft from a beautiful pump above the skies of Atlantic City. Red 6 and 7 colouring the sky, referred to their opposition minute. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Palm Summit. Whoa! Whoa! Seven aircraft forming a beautiful palm tree above us as Red Six and Seven Wow! Keep your eyes on the jet stack below, Red Six and Seven on the left. Red Six is. We've flown the Tornado much, GR4. How much more believable are these guys going to get? His third and final year on the team. Joining Red Six on the right is Red Eight. On the left with Red Seven is Red Nine. Yeah, I know. Aircraft now up. descending to right. each other, closing speed of over 700 miles an hour. In the spectacular Jeppo. Red 
Lewis, 8 and 9. Jessica with 6 and 7, four point rolling down the line. Keep your eyes on Red 6 and 7, staying low as they pull hard towards each other. 7G as they bring the up back. Reverse the turn and pass 100 feet from each other in the side. Ross once more sniffing the smoke in the shop. Now look to your left hand side, here comes Red no High speed with the smoke on. Now look out front right, there's Enid. They formed an inverted V formation. Red 9 about to fly straight down the middle in the goose. The formation in the right hand turn, the colors opening, that's red line. Wow! The red line is to Lois, he's a former typhoon pilot and a instructor, and he's on his third and final year on the team. Wow! Goes straight ahead to show center. Try and pick out the two nose lights of red six and seven coming straight towards us. And pulling up towards red six, it is time for the heart. There they go. Six and seven pulling up over the top, the red smoke standing up gloriously against the slightly cloudy sky. The Red Arrows would like to dedicate the heart today to all of the people here in Atlantic City and everyone in the US who's made us feel so welcome on our tour. Wow. And here comes Red 8 from the top right, spearing the heart. Wow. In. As 6, 7 and 8 finish the heart, Red 6 and 7 are preparing for the next maneuver. Six and seven once more, pulling hard towards us as they set up for the next of their opposition maneuvers. Red six running in on our right hand side will roll inverted. Red seven on the left, the right way round. As they cross, they will switch in the vice versa. Seven departs off to the right. Now here come the other seven jets from the left, pulling up to the vertical. The right, up over the top. It's another one for those cameras as they prepare for the vertical break. All right. Red vehicles, red one, it's the vertical break. Incredible. Incredible. As the smoke comes off from the vertical break, red six and seven once more preparing for the next of their opposition passing. Here they come from the left and the right, the white smoke is back on. They're going to cross 100 feet apart, pulling hard into a 360 degree circle, crossing three times. They'll be changing smoke colour as they go in the carousel. Red and blue smoke comes on, red six and seven, pulling hard towards each other. As they cross at the back, the smoke colour will change, leaving a red and blue half of the circle. Whoa, boy! Wow! Six and 
seven colored smooth changes to white and they extend down the line to make way for the next maneuver. Look out to your front right. As the white smooth come on, red one, stacking the breaths one to five in the line of turn. Red one at the top, red five at the bottom. As they move into a right hand turn, the pilots having to kick the aircraft out with a rudder like a pendulum as they enter the line of turn pass. Now normally in the red arrows we fly with the even number jets on the right, the odd number jets on the left. Well red one is about to push them into a reverse formation. This time the pilots all flying on the wrong side. Well, as the smoke goes off, Red One will call the aircraft back to the correct side. They'll cross over through line of stern once more in the slalom. The smoke goes off, here they go. Whoa! Back on the correct side in battle formation, Red One about to call for the red and blue smoke. Each of our aircraft is capable of generating red, white and blue smoke. We have five minutes of white smoke, one minute of red and one minute of blue. All selected by buttons on the pilot's control stick and carefully choreographed by Red One during the planning of the display. As Red One leads Enid off to our left-hand side, the coloured smoke changes to white. Now it's time to look over to your right, here come the rear section. Red 6 and 7 rolling inverted to fly down the line. Red 8 and 9 to roll around them. That all is called Red 9. The red and blue smoke comes on as they roll around the smoke of 6 and 7 in the torch room. Complete calls Red 9 as corkscrew finishes to our left hand side. Keep your eyes over to the left, we're about to see Enid reappear from the left. The inside pilots will roll to the outside of the formation, changing smoke colour as they go in the rollbacks. Two and three, roll go, calls Red One, the signal for two and three to roll. Clear, go! Clear, go, the signal for four and five to roll. Red 5 with the symmetrical rollbacks finish off to our right hand side. The white smoke comes back on as Red 1 banks the aircraft around to the left. Now look straight ahead to show centre. The white smoke is back on for the rear section. Changing to colour, they're about to break in front of you in the spectacular chip over it. Oh, got that! On red six and seven, the colored smoke changing to white. They're about to pull up, ready for the pass in their opposition maneuvers. On the left is red seven, Flight Lieutenant John Bond. John is a former Takano display pilot flying the aircraft you saw just before our display. He then flew the Typhoon on the front line before joining the team. Unbelievable. For one last time, the Synchro Pair, closing speed of over 700 miles an hour. They'll roll twice towards each other with the red and blue smoke in the double rolls. and seven finishing their colorful double rolls as we approach the time for the show finale 
Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching The Red Arrows! As Red Ron loops over the top of the Vixen break, his white smoke will come on, indicating to the other pilots his position for the rejoin. The aircraft all switching sides, having changed in the break, ready to reform in big battle formation, the same formation you saw on arrival. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor to be here in the United States. What a great setting here in Atlantic City for our show today. We would like to thank you all for coming out and for watching us. But as one special treat, Red One has a little bit of fuel and a little bit of smoke left. Would everybody like to see one more maneuver? Yeah. Yeah. As Red One positions the aircraft out to the front left, he'll gather them back in. The nose lights will come on towards us. The air brakes will come out as we prepare for one last special flyby. Well, our tour of North America is taking us all over Canada and the US for 11 weeks. We'll be conducting some spectacular flybys and displays, including a flyby of the Statue of Liberty tomorrow and then displaying at New York over the weekend. Our aims of the tour are to promote Great Britain and all that is great about living, working, investing and doing business with Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But our main aim is to inspire people on the ground. So hopefully with our display today, we've inspired both young and old to follow your dreams. Well, Red One just putting the final preparations to the fly pass. They'll be coming in from our left-hand side. All nine aircraft now join back up together. Red One assessing the wind conditions, rolling in towards the display line. Ladies and gentlemen, from the left-hand side, well, in the U.S., please put your hands together for the Red Arrows and the Stars and Stripes fly past. Thank you. 